Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel. These people are very much predictable. I said it last week that definitely Apostle Ken Wakama is coming to address, is coming to speak. Why? Because of uh, the press conference. So after this speaking, now people will pipe low about the press conference, then we'll continue to wait again. So Apostle Ken Wakama has spoken. Don't worry, we will break down his speech. But first of all, let us listen to what he's saying. Let us listen to what he has to say. Then in the subsequent trial this week, you know, he has dropped a bond share now. So trial this week and the next month and this month, this is what people are going to revolve around, ground, round with. So let's listen to him and later we'll dissect and analyze what he said. See you on the other side. Also, Dr. Ambassador Ken Wakama, sir, so you're welcome to the mic. Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Lee. Thank you so much, the CEOs and partners. I'm going to be very brief in my speech here because my ears are full from the day we put this meeting. So many of you before now have been saying all manners of things against my person. And I am a leader. I can't run away from my responsibilities because I didn't have I've been a leader from that. I want to thank every one of you who find it fit to be part of this meeting, irrespective of how you feel and what you are going through. I would like to start with the, how we started. I used to make a statement that I'm the country director that does not know he is a country director. It's God who put me into this and not me nor any man. And I have been through a lot based on this very work. First, I want to apologize to every one of you who has so much trust in me to deliver your expectation. When we started, I never knew it would be like this. When I was told to do screening, after one week, you will start disbursement. I will always be making statement that I am a man under authority. And none of you in the grand community who said he doesn't know that I'm a man under authority will have been saying that. After the screening, things didn't go the way I expected it because some of you if you don't have money, why are you doing screening? If we do not do that screening and have those data verified and sent to the authority, we may not have arrived to where we are now. That screening activated us as a group of people that something is coming in their name. First, I want to apologize for all of you who for one reason or the other misunderstood my statements. Even as I'm talking now, somebody may be hearing something different. They will not hear what I'm saying because most of you have made up your mind to be insulting me every day. There is a woman, I don't know that she was a woman, who always insult me every morning on a text message. And I was reading all the uh, insults until one day I called her. When he answered me, I noticed what? A woman. He started laughing. And she's doing that to get me angry so that I can disperse. Me too started laughing at the mindset of this very woman. So believe you me, I, that is where I was angry with that thing today. I am at the center of this whole thing. So many things has happened. I remember when I told you before that this grant it's like a snake in a clay pot. If you don't take time, you break the pot. 
If you don't take on this leg, it disappears. By the mercy of God, God gave me wisdom. I started following him from gradual to where we are today. And God link us up with the right source after we have spent so much scam several times. And we have seen the light of everything going on now. The reason for this meeting, whether you like this meeting or not, it is justified. Because I'm not good at making voice notes sending every time. Many of you take advantage of that. Pouring all manners of garbage on my head. People that cannot stand to talk in my face started creating diverse things. Even if, if this may be finished, I've already formed a tough skin to listen if I want to listen. All your responses. But I come this evening with peace. Before the meeting, already somebody, this today, that they had a, a recorded voice of me talking to somebody that I'm bringing this faith of unclear and clear angel to buy time. I can never believe hearing something. They all to get me angry so that I can make mistake. Then they will use it against me. I am not buying time, but I'm here to tell you the truth of what is happening. Believe it or not, you have at the back of your mind, Apostle Cain said this. One of the things I want to bring to your knowledge that I am under authority. I have never told anybody I have grants. Because if I say I have grants, then it's, in, it's safe in my hand. All the people that have been in grant community as grand handlers, maybe you need to hear their story, what they have gone through. And that is why none of them have been able to dispose this grant in Nigeria. If I am bad, all of those words are they also evil. Let their evil then me to come up and become evil at the same time. Right from when I was just an applicant to grant, I have been a, a messenger of peace. Let me pray for the people. But people who say they don't want to do I don't know why somebody can bring that. He doesn't want to discuss it. To me, it's sound crazy. Because he brought it to discuss it. As I am now, there's no amount of money you can give me to hold on back the grant if it's in my hand. Because the name that will be attached to me is more important than any amount of money. All the insults I've been getting. First, I want to let you people know I don't have the grant yet. There is a government committee processing it, and there are people interfacing and helping us with them. These people are God sent. They are the one taking us from step to step, from step to step, to where we are today. I have done so much, sold my Honda Pilot, so that my Mercedes car my son uses. In the days we are looking for a way to get documents for this grant until God brought us to these angels that are helping us now in the facing with the committee. No country can allow such an amount of money just coming from bank who are into somebody's account to start disposing. We are not in Banana Republic. We're in a government, organized government nation. They are the ones doing this thing. When they are done, they will hand over to the disbursement account which is not controlled by me only. I am working in a team with all grand pressure group pursuing this thing. But I take the bullet, everybody's on me. Aboskin is a devil, he's an international scammer. No one can come out and say I scam him in my life. I know you need this money, but you don't need money. I have a lot of people under me, church members and family members, who need this one. I came here to put this right. If you want to believe, believe it. The money has not been released in my hand or in the hand of any of my team members. Or in the hand of account or personal account, no way. 
the money is still with government where it is. You need to understand that the money did not enter Nigeria today. It's one that I've been in this country over five years. And God is helping to bring it out. I can boldly tell you that the government of His Excellency Tinumbu is very much interested to release this money. Somebody listen to a first note. Who is that people that disobey the, the government that has said release this money? Yes, but they are following processes. From one process to the other. We have been through so many things. Do this, we do. Do that, we do. Come with, with this, we do. All is going systematically and gradually. People are saying, give me date when to disperse. Sometimes I wonder, even as I'm talking now, yes, I know for some of you are only writing for what you are finding from what I'm saying. You can go ahead. The money I'm not that is not with me. How can I tell you when I'm disposed? Am I crazy? So when they hand over to me, we are done. This is the money. Then I and my team began to do the work. I want to plead to every one of you. If you really want this money to be disbursed. Running from pillar to post, or least to army, petition to no no to, to petition, it will not help us. And I like to bring your memory back that this grant started on 9th of March last year. No grant in Nigeria has made that arrived close to where this grant have arrived under one year. And I want to let you know, by the mercies of God, this grant will hit the nation any moment. I can tell you to do tomorrow, because I don't have the power to do that. Many of you feel that by intimidation. We don't want to meet it. If you don't start disbursement on Monday, can a man disburse what he doesn't have? The money is in the hand of authority. They are the one handling every process. And they can't release it to me when the process is not true. Because when the trouble comes, I will not see you to defend me. What I want to plead to every one of you is to hold your peace. The money is coming. Even if you kill somebody now, you can bring the money. Even if you decide to be to cause nuisance everywhere, it's at the detriment of your own. I want to bring to all of you. Many of you know who I am. But because money, you need money, is not there. You don't know me, I become criminal. I want to say to every one of you to calm down. You know me, I'm not a talking person all the time. But I know we have stayed long because we didn't know it would happen. The last time we didn't know it would happen, up to, up last up to this moment, that's what I mean. The last time I came out, I believe the last any time you hear my voice, it will be a disbursement. But I like to also let you know that what I'm saying to you now, by the mercies of God, it will not be long. Hold your peace. Because if you start petition here and there, you are not doing the masses good, rather you are creating problem that will delay this matter. If we provoke the authority, I don't know what will happen. That is why we started. So, okay, let us come and discuss some issues with you. One of the issues is the fact of unclear NGOs. We don't have any language that's clear NGOs or unclear NGOs until we begin to check the BVN. And in the course of checking the BVN, some people with their BVN are linked to so many multiple uh, angels and cooperatives. And this money instruction we receive is to give to one person one angel. Because we're not just disperse and go home, we'll still give account of what we are we disperse. And in the course of doing that, so many of you are connected to so many angels. That is why. So if you know that you have one NGO. You don't have another one. Just let us know the NGO. Many of them have been clear. Some who reported to me, I'll take it to the uh, uh, developer. 
they will take it if it is to declare it. But if I'm on multiple NGOs, please, we will still clear you for one, not all of them. So let nobody bother himself about clear and unclear NGO. It's not going to stop you from getting what you suffered for. But you're not getting multiple NGOs. So we'll only clear you on one. Secondly, we also have issues. This issue has been coming about some CEOs that dies and nobody know what to do about them. I believe I'm going to leave uh, Pastor Bill Mambo to give directive as we have discussed concerning how to handle these issues. And also, we got the report of plan of some NGOs to execute what they call pay me and pay you. 1,000 NGOs in one data. Please, don't put yourself in trouble. The eyes of the government is in this and you agent official, we did not support that. Because government has a package for you. I see you offering you the data. Take that one and leave others so that the money can benefit Nigerians. The issue of templates has already begun somehow that everybody was given one one bundle, including my own NGO. It's one bundle for now. The government has their own template, which we have been working together, giving ideas as such of how it will be. Until now, they are coming up with their own templates. Anybody that told you to pay money so that your NGO will be increased in bundle is scamming you. We don't know about that. Anybody that is scamming you so that your NGO will be a special NGO is a scam. It's not official. It's not what we are doing. We don't believe in that. Everybody is a special NGO. I want to plead to Nigerians that this is ground that we are sure is in this country. We are sure it's going to be dismissed. Let us out of anxiety and necessity and pains of what we are going through scatter the process. If we do that, it will not be good. I appeal for every one of you to be calm. Somebody sent me this meeting. It's to persuade us to be calm. No way. You want this boss this morning from Monday. No one can dispose what he doesn't have. If you like carrying me, put it out. I'm not with the grant. The people you are taking me to are aware of what is going on. They know that I'm not taking this grant. So please, let us come back and reason like mature men. To be a CEO is not a boy's work. It's an adult who has dreams and big visions. So let's reason well, not fully well, that nothing big comes easy. It's all the plan of the enemy to make you feel that you have been sidelined, you have been cheated. Everything is intact in the record. That is why everything we use is up. The record is there. So let us calm down and maintain peace. We can't trust government to run when they are working. They know what they are doing. If we go hard, we look for trouble. And if they say no more, nothing can, nothing you can do. To like consciousness. So please, I beg every one of you to calm down. Don't join the enemies who don't have interest in this grant because they have collected enough. Don't join them and create problem for us. That is why we fix this meeting to let you know that we didn't abandon you. We didn't deceive you. We didn't do anything that you don't like. I know what this grant is causing me. I am so shocked that a day my mother died, the next thing was insult from somebody. You want to use your mother death to eat our money. Wow, is that how people are wicked they at? I only put my mother in mortuary, no arrangement until I finish this. If I'm done with it before I look that way. And I'm doing everything I can do. Remember a woman called me. I was so stressed off 
with so many things. I said, I can't kill myself for Nigeria. And the woman told me to kill myself. It is a dignity that I die for Nigeria to get that. If I know that it will be this, up to this, maybe I wouldn't have start put my hands in the first place. I want to solicit to every one of you, I'm talking to partners, not the beneficiaries that are out there who don't know what is going on. And the grant has not been dispersed. The grant has not left the hand where it is to our hands. I also want you to know I'm not working alone. I'm working with all Grand Pressure Group executives and the team I've been working with. All of us are focusing to make sure this thing comes out for Nigeria. But in turn, what we are receiving now is insult and insult to me. I have become vitamin. It doesn't bother myself, whatever name you like call me. But I came out to tell you the true position of things. We are closer than ever in this grant. I'm very, very certain in my spirit, made on evidence on ground, that very soon I will talk very loud and bold to tell you we are next starting. Bear in mind, they are going to sign them on you in your app and return back as we start this kind of money no money you just give somebody anyhow and i want to urge you if you intend for any illegal thing with this money please repent because if you know what you are going through to see that this thing are done well and the government the committee will not tolerate anything else but to do it well take your portion and give the rest to the people that is on it. Opportunity come that you are very fortunate to be the one others are going to get money from. Please be careful and don't eat their money because tomorrow is so deep and far. Opportunity may come again and you have then your name. I can at one time. I will finish this work with a clean hand. And everybody will know that what you said about me was wrong. Thank you so much. I once again, I want to pray to you. Hold on, calm down, stop. All that you are planning, it will not help us. That it will take us back from where we are coming from. Give us a little more time. The job is almost done. But we are in public, I can't come out here, say everything. I'm not stupid. But I know where we are. This morning, would some of you will feel that they pay the money I sat on it. How stupid that one was, sir. Sat on it as tear. Sat on it as what? That the government that gave me money do not know that they gave me money, I was sat on it. Some of you who think I, 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 I'm eating the money. If I eat the money, who see me here? Me and you will not be this Abuja and Nigeria. Nobody has eaten your money. This money will come. God is involved in this very money. And we have a good government that are helping who are interested in the promises going by what they're doing now. So I want to beg all of you to please understand that I'm under authority. If the authority is not in me completely, I have people who give me order and I report to them. I can't bypass them just to make your, your, your cry come to stop. No, but I can do, I, I will, I'm ready doing it legally and in an obedient way. The authority will soon release the money and everybody will be happy. I know that time, some of you will regret what you have said about me and about so many of us in this leadership. I want to plead to you once again. Lay down your armor. There's no way anyway. A little more patience. We will enjoy the goodies that God planned for us. And I want to stop here. I want to say thank you all for everything. Don't be afraid. Anybody that register, normally you will get the money. They said, you come through the back door. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you all.